Today we head to England Ooh, to the world-renowned Silverstone. Silverstone Circuit, home of the British Grand Prix. Oh yeah, absolutely. Pass the most cars to win this event. Test your passing skills by overtaking as many cars as possible. Track days. <laughs> so basically, we're racing against a bunch of people who've paid a few hundred quid to come and have a track day. Hilarious. This is going to be about not crashing into people more than anything. I feel sorry for these guys. They've paid all this money and they're like, why the hell does he get to race in an impreza? Whoa, Mr. Peugeot! The drive of your life. A track day in a Peugeot, was that a 106 or something? No thanks. I think I'd rather play Forza. Around the inside, sorry. It's not your car anyway. It's good. See ya. Oh, this is a much simplified version of Silverstone. It's got the back end out again. When I get back in the, the uh, BMW and the Golf without the stability control, even they're going to feel very different. It's not your standard racing driving, this is very rally like. <laughs> Drifting round bins. Oh, I got the back wheels on the grass again! God bless four wheel drive. Whoa! He's had enough of him. He's still having a bit of a tussle on track day. Can I get the inside of these two? <laughs> Just about. Woo! I didn't notice actually how many I needed. New badge and title unlock, semi pro. <laughs> Minimal damage. Oh yeah. Doesn't even need a wash. Gold medal, I'll take that. Our next event takes place high in the Bernese Alps in Switzerland. Oh, funny it was a rally Alps, eh? If there was snow and gravel on the ground. Looks like a normal race this time. It's not weird how I've got a green tint on the left, but when I look left it's all clear. That's a nice bend. That is a nice fast bend, that is. Hate it when they're all bunched up like this. And I said that, let's just squeeze a couple of places out of it. And then my tires, God, that's so quick round there. That's a scary bend. You look at that drop to the right and you think, if I was here in a real car, I would be bricking myself. Oh, they all went wide. What a surprise. Oh, just kept it. 
Put the lights on! So if we can get down the inside of these books. This pink car again. Alright, we'll go around the outside instead then. I think last time I was on this track I was knocking over cones and stuff. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Oh, sugar. Wow, that's bumpy through there. No, you don't, dude. Trying to get the inside. No! Just holding it around the outside. Yes! Into fourth. Wow, that was one lap. Are you kidding me? Were you kidding me? And there's three. No, dude, stay on the inside. Perfect pass, do you see that? For some reason, my car's doing a lot better on this track. Stay on the inside of this guy, I think. See if I can just coax it through the inside, though. Yes! Oh! Oh! <laughs> that is not the place to have a spin. So quick down there. Second place. He managed to keep it through there. The last time I went through there, they were overshooting that bend. But he held on to it. There's always a point in this race where the sun is right in your face and you can't see what the hell's coming. Come on, dude. I've got to get you in the bag at some point. Oh, he's on the inside of him. Can he hold it, though? That's the question. Can he hold it? Just about. In between the post for a goal, yes! First position, right. Oh, I don't like that bit. That is so dodgy through there. Okay, let's rally in. Gently on the power, down the hill. Beautiful scenery. Second lap. Third and final lap. Overshot that way too much. That was nowhere near the racing line, but I'm doing okay. Got a comfortable lead. Which, if I'm not bloody careful, I'm going to lose. <laughs> I don't need to go quite so full on, I don't think. Look at that mountain. It's detail on that, it's amazing. Right, let's try and get this Ben Master, shall we? more like it. I could have gotten the gas a bit earlier on the way out, I think. Still, it's a nice lead. Low to track. Look how wide that thing is. Great. A perfect time to get a message. <laughs> how about turning that notification setting off? Bumpy bit. I don't like this bit at all. Ugh. 
I seriously don't like that bit. Okay. I think I'm going to come away from this with hardly any scratches at all. That's a massive victory. Absolutely killed them on that one. Woo! Two minutes, seven. Pristine condition. Just a little bit of flexitar on the uh, paintwork that I can see. Nothing about a teacup won't get out. 8,000 to 800 credits, I'll take that. That guy on the left with the flag. Cool. Almost level six. We now head back to the Top Gear <laughs> test track, designed by Lotus to be a true test of a car's ability. Back to the Top Gear test track. In 2012, the scientists at the Large Hadron Collider prepared to smash two particles together to unlock the darkest secrets of the universe for the very first time. Before they could do that, however, they needed someone to guard the emergency stop button in case the experiment went wrong. Only one man in the world was fast enough for this job, the stick. Fortunately, the collision went entirely to plan, except for one thing. At the precise moment the two particles hit, the tame racing driver banged his crash helmet against the powerful supercomputers in the lab, and the very spirit of the stick was sucked into the mainframe. Soon afterwards, the digital likeness was captured on a USB stick and handed back to Top Gear, where he was examined and found to be just like the stick in every way, except one. There was a glitch in the code that made it possible to beat him, but only if you're really, really good. Chances of me beating the Stig's cousin? <laughs> Non-existent. This guy is surely going to race hard. Was a crap start. The Stig. <laughs> you get to race against the Stig. That is just so cool. Well, he's a bit smoother than I am. I'll give him that. Come on, boy. Let's do this. I feel like I could have him through that bend, then. Can you imagine this on expert difficulty against the stick? It would be insane. He knows his track like the back of his hand. I'm not entirely sure how to get past him. Oh, he says, just as he says that, he finds a way through. He's pushing back, he's pushing back. Get off me. Get off. Oh, you cheat. Stig, you cheat. <laughs> Outrageous. He tried to pit me off the track. That's not the real Stig. Right, I've got, <laughs> I'm in the lead. Just about. A couple of these bends I was definitely a bit quicker through. I've just got to try and capitalise on that now. Oh my life. Oh my life, I ran out of track. He's right behind me! Go away! <laughs> He's... Oh no! He's not going to give up. He's not going to give up. Go away. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. No. I've got to beat the stick. How dare you go. Oh. Stick, you cheat. This guy is outrageous. 
That's twice he's tried to pick me off the track. Unbelievable. Jeremy Clarkson needs to have words with this guy. I got him through there last time. Oh, he's just about a second and a half behind me, probably. I need to just not cock it up now. On the gas, on the gas. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! It was like right behind me. Twice tried to knock me off and I beat the stick. My life. New badge, some say. <laughs> awesome. He's not, isn't he going to take his helmet off now? Because of the beat him, he should take his helmet off. That was epic. BBC should put that on Top Gear. Level 6. 31 grand. Almost got second level affinity as well. The next event is at the man-made paradise of Yas Island and the Yas Marina circuit. You know, you look at this place. It looks so high-tech. If you lived here, it'd be like something out of Minority Report. It just looks computer generated as a city. That perfect tarmac, you know? Hey. Right. Oh, oh, this is gonna end in a big scrum. Nice. I actually got a few places out of that. That car on the right, I think it's a Toyota. So it's a Celica or something, or Supra, I can't tell. Horrible, horrible paint scheme. Now then, cheeky. Well, I could do that as well. That is a herpin. Bloody hell, that's a herpin. That is the definition of a herpin. Let's get behind this dude. That silver pink paint scheme, I always see it in every race. Well, they've got better power than me on the straight line. A perfect draft, are you kidding me? I'm miles away. Oh, thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. Thanks for overshooting the bend and pitting me out. It's awesome of you. Look at him! Now, that is a liability right now. He just decided that that chicane should be a straight line. <laughs> it went straight across. I totally overshot that bend. Oh, that was my bad, I'm sorry. That was totally my bad. I'm sure I'll find a way of getting back at me. I'm not having much success with this track, that's for sure. Guy on the right is about to pick me off. Here he is, Captain Liability. Oh! Down the inside. Oh, nice. That was nice pass. Seventh position. I'm actually in with a fighting chance now. What the hell? That guy's a fruitcake. I've got to get past him. <laughs> Again. Oh. There he is. Come on, Mr. Quattro. Move over and let the men through.
good turn. It's a chicane. The dreaded chicane where Captain Quattro back there decides it's a straight line. Or the hairpin where you get pitted. You can see me in the mirror. <laughs> it's absolute lunatic. Sixth position. I don't think I can get it all the way up to third now. We shall see. I'm at least seven seconds behind, maybe more. I've done it again. The exact same bend I break too late. Oh, I need to be behind them through here. Now I've got no drafting possibility. Still, as long as I beat Captain Quattro, I'll be happy. Just gotta hope one of them makes a mistake. Press Y to rewind. I don't want to do that. We don't rewind. Can't rewind in a real race. Actually, I need to turn that off because I get... I forgot about that. If I turn that off, you get bonus XP, I think. He made a mistake, but I made a different kind of mistake. I'm all over this guy, but... I can't get him! Whoa! That was close. Whoa! <laughs> I did not expect him to break then. No, dude, you made a mistake and I nearly lost it to Quattro then. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm not having that. Every time I went through that bend, he was slower and Quattro behind me just flew through it. I'm not losing the race to Captain Quattro. Fifth position, silver, that'll do. That was a difficult race. Took some damage, gave some damage. Yep, that's not pretty. <laughs> Don't like the blue wheels, actually. I think the, the wheels should have been red, the alloys. Or silver, possibly silver. Fantasy level two. Nine percent bonus. We return to the home of the Bathurst 1000, the Mount Panorama Circuit in Australia. Oh, this is a nice track. Brutal, but nice. <clears throat> the final race of this championship, the Rally Championship. Let's see if we can get in the top three. Guys on the inside already. And he's pitting me as well. <laughs> wow. Somehow he managed to bag that position. Just bullied his way through the inside. I had neither the power nor the braking to stop him. Revenge is sweet. There's old mayhem going on behind me. You let me through there, boy? Yep, I think so. Wow, he's walking along at snail pace. think he'd never ridden a rally car before. He's still having a bit of a tussle here. Oh yes. Oh yes. You hit the brakes and I'll fly right by. Come on Cosworth, what are you doing? Wow, 
What's that behind me? It's such a tight drop down there. Right, fourth position on the first lap is a good place to be. I seem to remember it kicks right down here somewhere. Oh, dear me, I made a mistake. I run out of road. <laughs> Still in fourth, though. Luckily, I had a runoff. Ninety left coming up. Right. One lap complete. I've got to catch these guys. Look at first position. He's way out in front. That's what happens when you don't have to fight with various people in front of you. I'm slowed down by a few guys. can do this, I can get these two. I want to get to at least third. He made a mistake then, but I can't get him. That Cosworth, I'm faster than him through here. It's a matter of getting the right opportunity. Anything down there? Anything down there? I think so. Well, I think he's going to ram me off the road any minute. Just try and use as much road as I can. Stop him overtaking. Good. Third position. Second in sight. Oh, did you see that? He actually hit the barriers then, he bounced off the barrier. Oh, the back end's going out. Right, come on. I don't want to run out of track again. Where's that guy? Right. I think third is in the bag. Whether I can get second or not is a different story. First position out of the question. Oh, I did that much better. I did that so much better. But I can't get him. One more bend. He would have to really screw up for me to get this. No, it ain't gonna happen. Never mind, it was a good third. Yes, gold medal. That was good. Enjoyed that. Good track, that. New badge making a living. <laughs> Minimal damage, I think, apart from that bit there, where I think I hit. The, was that when I cut the bend of the hairpin? I think that may have levelled me, I'm not sure. 7,000 credits for that one. Plus... No, it's not going to level me. Maybe next time. Serious payout, 12,000 credits. And some bonus races. What are the bonus races then? Road Atlanta. Ooh. Silverstone Racing Circuit. Ah, the proper one this time. Mazda Raceway, Laguna Seca. The Circuit de Catalunya in Spain. Prague. Ooh, we know Prague. Yas Marina and Le Mans Circuit de la Sarthe. 
We've seen most of those before, though, haven't we? We're just not racing them. Cool. Right. That is it, guys. We have now finished three of the championships. Done the modern sport, rally production, and the hot hatch. Leave me your comments. Do you want me to continue with the bonus races? Do you want me to go into a new event? Or do you want me to customise my car and try and make it faster? Leave your comments, let me know. Don't forget to click like if you enjoyed the videos. Take care, guys. See you soon.